An intricate part of Exercise Southbound Trooper 12 relies heavily on the U.S. military air mobile assets. We brought with us three MH-60 Sierra aircraft capable of uh, troop transport. We've got ASU missions, so overwater type missions. We'll be uh, doing a platoon lift uh, for the company tomorrow and then we're going to be providing 100-man lift, lift capability. It's going to take us a little bit longer than, uh, than uh, one or two, uh, two drops because we only have three aircraft, but uh, we'll make it happen. The different helos that we have at our disposal it obviously adds an elevated excitement to the younger soldiers. As far as what we can do, it increases our capabilities. The distance to travel, areas that we can, we can actually get to now in, in, in a timely manner. So it makes the scope of our operations change significantly. However, one thing it is, it's, it's weather dependent. So we have to make sure that we plan our operations around the weather. The helicopters back home, although they be very, they're very fast and smaller, they don't have the same lift capabilities. Some of our soldiers know how to use very well and are very versed in using our kit. This is a great opportunity to use somebody else's kit and see how it works. As you can see, the U.S. military air asset support has been instrumental in making Exercise South Band Trooper 12 a complete success. For the Canadian Army, I'm Sergeant Lance Wade, Fort Virginia.